Good morning, Rabbi Lowy and ladies. This share is sponsored as a schus for Rafua Shalema for Shana Bracha Bas Yisrael, Ilana, Ilana Ginz's granddaughter who has who had a serious and severe injury after falling falling 15 feet and, and is currently unable to walk. Pardon? The name is Shana Bracha Bas Yael. Bas Yael, yes. Okay. okay. Um, and the class is being recorded and will be available at the agoda.ca. And if you'd like to sponsor future broadcasts, please contact me. Okay, good morning. Go this uh, share today is uh, really a, a Shabbat Shuvah, Russia, for ladies. And usually we give it in person. To, uh, till COVID, we used to give it in person. But uh, now, we decided to end on the 10.30 shear, just like we did before Tisha B'Av. It should be a shear for everyone could listen on the phone. Today is the fifth day of Aseris Simei Tshuva. Aseris Simei Tshuva, Chazal teach us, Dirshu Hashem b'imotsoi b'yoisei koroid. Seek Hashem when he's found, when he's close to us. Elu Aseris Simei Tshuva. These are the 10 days of Tshuva, 10 days of repentance. In the wisdom and the chesed of Hashem, Hashem, in the cycle of year, Reishas Hashanah, Rav made, a person should wake up a little and remember his purpose in life. And Rav Hashem gave his first Elul, that we prepare ourselves 30 days for the day of, of uh, a day in court, the day of the decree, the day where Rabbi Hashem judges what should happen to us. And we believe in our whole heart that there is a Yom Adin. Just like there'll be a Yom Adin when we leave this world, there's a Yom Adin every year. And Hashem judges us how our year should be. We'll be able to serve Hashem, the Menucha, we'll be able to serve Hashem without any worries or Hashem will make us go through times that we have to serve, serve Hashem in every way. It says, you have to serve Hashem with all your hearts. Every Anything that happens, serve Hashem. Anything that happens, we have to serve Hashem. And like the the Mechaber brings down by the halacha that Hashem Shemavarach and Alara Toiv Mavarach and Alara just like we make a bracha on good things, we make a bracha on bad things. So uh, the Shukunarach says, why? Because the tzaddik understands that everything we do in this world is what the Rebbe wants us to do. And just like Hashem gives us good things, sometimes Hashem gives us challenges, but it's all given from Hashem that we should be able to serve Him in every way. Serve Him sometimes in peaceful moments, sometimes in challenging moments. And we have to remember that's what life is all about. Life is serving Hashem. We're, it's one long chain of serving Hashem. We wake up in the morning, we say, The Vanishim gave us back our soul and the swarm bring down every day. We have a new day of, of serving Hashem. We wash our hands and face. Shaks like the Kohen washes his hand before it does Avaida. Every day we serve Hashem from beginning till we go to sleep. And even when we go to sleep, we're, we're serving Hashem every day. That's what we do every day. But Hashem knows us better than we know ourselves. Hashem knows our weaknesses better than we know our weaknesses. Hashem created us. So therefore, Hashem gave us a time to be able to rejuvenate, to reawaken, to know what we have to do. So we'll get to start with the Rambam, what Aseris Mechuv is all about. Every person has merits and has Averis. Mishis Kuyos of Yaseris al of Sadiq. Whoever has merits has more than his sins is called a tzaddik. Misha Benoisov is serious as Russia. 
Machza, machza, someone who has half and half is a Benini. So says the Rambam, even though belong of Shoifer is a mitzvah in a Torah, and we do mitzvahs not because of the reasons we think we do it, because Hashem told us, Remez Yashboy. Says the Rambam, we have to remember there is a significant Remez in this. Kloimer, Uru Yeshenim Shinaschem, Benedomim Hakitzmet Adamaschem. You, you people who are sleeping, wake up from your sleep. Those who are in slumber, wake up from your slumber. And go search through your actions. And do tshuva. Remember the Rabbi Shalom. There's nothing that stands in the way of tshuva. Every person in the world could do tshuva. Says the Rambam, those who forget the truth of life with the emptiness of the time, and waste the whole year with empty things. So the Yisraeli tells us, remember what your purpose is. The body is going to at the end be consumed. The Nisham is going to stay forever. So look at your nefesh. And make sure you be, make better your ways. And everyone should leave their bad ways. The fikach. Person should see like his half zakai, half chayiv. He has half 50% merits, 50% not merits. And the same thing the whole world. He does one avera, he could dip. Tip the scale, the, the scale has shown to the bad side. There's one mitzvah, you could tip the scale for him and the whole world, the Kavskos. There's one tzaddik with one mitzvah to change the whole world. Says the Rambam. Therefore, the meaning of Klai Yisrael is to add in these days of service Mechuva to give more tzedakah and try to do more mitzvahs. The last week, the mitzvah is been Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippurim and to occupy ourselves with mitzvahs. Yes, we call Rosh Hashanah. More than a whole year. And you wake up early these 10 days. The spell about going to see is the different technun in the kibush match your ayayin. So that's our service Mechuva is says the Rambam. Says my tshuva is days that we have to remember and fulfill our purpose in life. Says my tshuva, you have to be different than all year. You have to become better. Hashem wants us. You know, we can't, a person can't always be on the same, in the same level. But says my tshuva is a person supposed to be in the highest level till you come to Yom Kippur, which is the, 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 the highest level where we say Baruch Shem Kwaid Machose loud like, like Malachim. But only Malachim really say Baruch Shem Kwaid Machose loud. But we all stand up in Shul. Every one of us is like a Malach. Everyone, Rabbi Nisham, picks us up and it says that Sadiq Mahayr Malachim. And there, therefore, every Yid on, on, on Yom Kippur says loud Baruch Shem Kwaid Machose like it would be a Malach. We all transform to be Malachim. But we have to do our part. The Pesach says, L'fnei Hashem Tetaru, that before the Yom Kippur comes, cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. A person is supposed to cleanse himself before Yom Kippur. Seres Mechuvu, every day you should be, be occupied with mitzvahs. Occupy yourself as many mitzvahs as you can. Help people, do things for people, care for people. And that's the, the, there's no greater merit we came to this world to help other people. There's a story, someone uh, whose father was the Rav of Munich and he was learning yeshiva and his father asked him, please come home for Yom Kippur. And the boy was felt so bad, he's leaving his yeshiva, going to Munich in a time, there's not no Yiddish guy, nothing there. But he, he, he felt 
his father asked to come. So he told himself that what he's going to do is he come to Munich and his father's shul. And he's a whole day going to be occupied. He brought along swarm. He belong, brought along that he, a whole, every second of the time. He is going to be completely occupied in, in learning and in, in learning Musr, learning the davening, davening. He comes to Shul Mincha. Somebody comes over, the guard comes over to him and says, over there in, in Germany, they have guards coming in. Here, there's somebody who says he's Jewish. I don't know if he's Jewish. Could you come in and speak to him? So his, the person's name was Sadek. And he came to him and asked him, he didn't speak any German. And he spoke, he didn't even know how to say the word Jewish. He said, Jewish. And he decided, look, he'll come. And he told him to, he went to his father, what should I do? He said, look, he says he's Jewish. Bring him in for Mincha. Let him have a Mincha. Then he didn't have anywhere to be. His father asked, uh, said, told the son, Chaim Echol, I want you to, his father's a Pinchas. He asked him, Bieberfeld, he asked him, want to take care of him. He, he invited him to daven with them. He invited him to eat with them, the Sulusam of Sekas. And he felt so bad. We don't even know if a Sadiq is Jewish. And, and he's occupied with him. And uh, later when, at night after davening, you know, he went over to his father, you know, Papa, you know, <laughs> it's good, I left yeshiva. Now, this not, I didn't leave yeshiva to come here and to go with, deal with, a, with someone who's not even Jewish. And his father got all upset with him. His father got all upset with him. His father said, you know what's more important to Hashem? He says, if I would have to, you know, I'm a Rav, and I would have to make a marriage for him, I would have to check his yichas. But when it comes Yom Kippur, when it comes Yom Kippur, and someone comes and tells him you that he needs a place, he needs a place, your obligation is to help this person. We come to Hashem and plead to Hashem to help us. We plead to Hashem we should have a good bench to your. We know we're not deserving. But we know we want Hashem with his midas rachman. Yoshiva kisei rachman. With his rachman, he should go and have rachmanus on us. So he says, he told him, what you're doing, this is the greatest mitzvah you could do. There's no greater mitzvah you could do. There's no greater mitzvah that you could do to go and, and, and help a person and, and do something. This is your mitzvah. Your mitzvah, you're doing your, you think mitzvahs are only if you go and occupy yourself and, and, and in being in yourself. Mitzvah, uh, Yid comes to the world to help other people, to help other people. That's what we have to do. How much could we do to help another person? How much could you do? How much you, every day of a says, how many people did you help? Help every, help giving tzedakah, help people. Find, write us in the book of merit. What do you mean write your book of merit? Do you have merits or not? Means we ask him, help us, give us opportunities of mitzvah. Someone comes to you and asks you for help. The first thing you have to do is, how could I help you? What could I do for you? I remember by Agon Rav Moshe Feinstein Zekhan Rav Kaslavaya, his Talmud Muvig, Agon Rav Nissen Alfred Zekhan Rav spoke that time. And he said, you know, when any uh, person who came into New York and came to ask uh, a letter of recommendation from Rav Moshe, Rav Moshe right away gave him a letter of recommendation. So he asked, Rav, shouldn't we go check him out first? He says, look, he comes to ask me first, I have to do tzedakah with him. Last I tzedakah or mishpat. First you do tzedakah, then I'll judge him. The first thing is, how could I help you? What can I do to help you? What can you do to help another person? Says my tshuva, a person, one of the ways of tshuva is first, davening better. Says my tshuva, a person, every person should try to make sure you're occupied with mitzvahs all day. Daven different. If you're davening in a says tshuva, like all year, then you're not doing what a says tshuva is all about. Says my tshuva is supposed to daven better than all year. Say more till him than you say all year. If you only daven shachos, every daven mincha also. If you only daven shachos, mincha daven also myrav. And but the davening should be a real davening, real 
Love the Bechol of Avcham with your heart. Davening means really davening to Rabbi Nisham. If you read really down to Rabbi Nisham, Rabbi Nisham listens to our tefillahs. Rabbi Nisham listens to our tefillahs if we daven properly. Hashem listens to anyone who calls out truthful. Don't fool ourselves. When you go stand davening, do you think about hundred other things or you take your mind off everything you just, when you say Baruch Hashem, you really have your proper kavanah. When you, when you say every every bracha you make, you make the the prop, you have the proper kavana to to say that bracha. Says Meshuv especially, you know, uh, I remember by the husband of a uh, garner of of Segel's kind of bracha. Someone said over that a week before Reb Segel was left, he came to him in his office, and he was sitting with him, and all of a sudden Reb Segel says, "I I need a sitter. I need a sitter." So Revi, why do you need a sitter? He said, I have to make, I want, I have to eat an apple and I have to make a bracha. I only make brachas from inside. And give me a sitter. And he made the bracha, Baruch Atta Hashem, Lekein Melcha, and Bayer creates like some of Dava's Nila. Every bracha, how do we say brachas all year? We just let brachas come out of our mouth or we say the bracha fully and with proper kavana. You know, I always speak of this every year. Some people, you know, don't want to be, Busy with benching. Benching is too long for them. So they eat mizona spread. So even this year, even those who were holding a mizona spread, which for many years I said there's no such thing because if you make, eat a meal, it's not a mizona spread. But, uh, but if you eat a meal, you, you should want to bench. Benching is derisive. There's only two brachas that are in a Torah, benching and virchas Torah. You want to, you want to bench. You eat, so you should be able to bench. Sarah's so mentioned every day. Try to eat, eat bread and make a bracha. Wash, yeah, one bracha. I might say second bracha, four brachas, and benching. You get six brachas and, and bench properly. Like the like, like in Shkolnarchas were done. That someone who benches properly will be nitzel from all negev. Someone who benches every word properly. Well, Hashem will save him from all the things, bad things that occur in the world. Benching properly, in this famous story I said over many times to some years mind. The old year they saw that he benched, he said, that's what saved my life by the Nazis. Because since I heard from Ray Shapiro once say this, every day I benched every word, said over every word from inside. When there was the Gulf War and they asked of Shackles, what they should take upon, take upon himself to say, the bench, the bench, inside and say every word properly. There's no greater thing than that. So a person who, who you know, you make sure you, you, you bench properly, you say the broker properly. But one of the main things we have to remember is the Beinod Machaver and Beinod Lamakim. The Beinod Lamakim is how we daven, how we bench, how we say brokers, how we act, how we, and Beinod Machaver, how we interact with other people. How, which is, uh, uh, Chazal teaches a various from Adam, the Mokam, a very between man and, and Hashem. Uh, you ask, you do tshuva, tshuva, there's three components of tshuva. The ficha, the ficha, the levavcha, la soy soy. You say, vidui, and you take it in your heart, you'll know that you, you feel bad uh, what you did. Harot al over, Kabbalah, la soy soy, la asid. And that's the three components of tshuva. If you know, you know, you say old al chaitz. If someone knows there's a special something special. The chasashon, he was Ivaran. It was Ivaran that he during the year, like the swarm bring down that every day of a serious mechuva corresponds to that day of your life. Today is Wednesday. All the Wednesdays in our lives, what we did, and all the Wednesdays, all the Wednesdays from last year, what we had. It says, today you could correct all the Wednesdays. If you make this day a special Wednesday, a Wednesday of, from the morning at night, everything you do is, is this what Hashem wants me to do? You wake up, you wake up early to daven. If you could say slichas, you say slichas. You daven properly. You sit down and, and eat properly and wash properly. And, and then how could I help somebody else? Who needs my help? Call the people who need your help. Try to make yourself help other people. Do for, for another person. Care for another person. 
and and make this Wednesday a special Wednesday. And says the series Mechuva days that we are machmer even at things that we're not machmer all year like Chol uh, Stam or Pepas Stam. We're machmer. That why because it's special days. These are days, holy, holy days. We all be, transform ourselves to be tzaddikim. We become tzaddikim these days because we want to be a tzaddik when it comes to Yom Kippur. When it comes to Yom Kippur, we want to make sure that that you know. Uh, that we, we Shem sees us as one of the things is so the Riyav is saying Yesh lechal Adam lechape is drachav or lefashpeish b'masav. Every person should go and make an introspection in his ways. If you know there's something that you didn't do properly, make sure you take away. If something you did wrong, see how I could correct it. Why? It's days where the Rabbanishon was the Rafa Naman. And he'll be These are days where Hashem will send out his refuel for you. These are days where Hashem will help you. Something that you're not sure is not very, you need more chuva than a shul aver, because a real aver you regret. Hirhura aver, thinking about aver, is the words in the aver itself. The same thing aver is that a person steps on so you can yoise bedikul or ner Hashem nishus adam or even absurd. There is that we do. The yichudos and there is shein achshavim klum bein amanam people. Kavag gezel. Chasu shalom gezel. Sometimes you know uh, you have money that's not sent yours. You you went to a store and they made a mistake and things like that. Kavag gezel. Rivas. Rivas. Interest. As a shalom, everyone should see that they're not giving interest to a yid. And, 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 and they're not taking interest from a yid. It could be interfamily. You know, the aloha is that, you know, if you borrow money, you're not allowed to pay interest unless you make a heterisk. Well, you know, tricking somebody else. Havak Lashon Hara. Havak Lashon Hara, speaking Lashon Hara. Like the storm brings down, the Chachamskhan brings down that your mouth, the davens. If has a shalom, it's contaminated with Averis, with Sheker, Lashon Hara, then that mouth can't flee to Hashem. Could you go by today and say, today, I'm all day, I'm not going to say one word of Lashon Hara. Not one word. And Lashon Hara is, you know, it's easy not to speak Lashon Hara when it's just uh, things that aren't so close to your heart. When someone hurts you, when someone hurts you, then you start, you know, telling yourself, I'm allowed to say things, I'm, I should say things. That's the real, that's the real test. The tzonis has a shalom to say things that are off color. The tzonis to read things that are off color. That's why we have to be very careful reading novels and things that are the off color things there and things, the rehistal words that has a shalom that uh, making fun. To use, use. Foul language. Chazal teaches using foul language is like doing the biggest of Arayas. Saying dirty words. Saying foul words. Even when you get angry. Chazashon. Chanufa. Go and try to go ham for a person when you don't mean it. Speaking false things. Ramos. Tricking people. Gnevis Das. Sikha Vesak Nessus. Talking in a shul, talking in a shul. In a shul, you shouldn't really not talk. If you want to talk, go out to the hall. There's a story, there's a shul in, in, in Flatbush, which was established by someone, Shlaima Glick, and it was, it's a small shul. And they didn't have a real nice safe Torah. They didn't have a nice safe Torah. All of a sudden, someone calls up that they want to donate the safe Torah to this shul. 
They want to donate the shul. So they said, why are you giving it to our shul? He said, because we heard in your shul they don't talk. It's a shul in, in Hello David's shul in, in, in Flatbush. Because it's Shleim Glick when he made when he, he made the shul, he established no talking. He was a person who he came to America and they told him right away in America when he came off the boat and they told him in America, you know, they saw him wear, put on tefillin in the boat. They said, in America, you don't put on tefillin. I said, what do you mean you don't put on tefillin? Sure, you put on tefillin. And then later on, when he came to America, they, want, he, they wanted him to work on Shabbos. Says, I, I'm not going to work on Shabbos. I'm not going to work on Shabbos. And then he, he saw that, you know, people talking to Shul. And he saw in Shulchan Aruch, it says, God Labayinim and Asai. Talking to Davening, the Aver is so great. God Lavaina, the Aver is so great, greater than Hashem. Talking to Aram Batalim, Dong Davening, speaking to Davening. And so he went and he said, I'll make a shul here, but there's no talking. And because of that, his great grandchild was Zaycha to get a safe return because what he did, you never know what someone does. Agorim Matasio Salomon's Shlita. Matasio Chaim Ben Etel Shlita, who should have a full Shalem, once said after he became Mashgiach in, in, in Lakewood, he said, What's Chus? that I have to become a shgich on such a holy big yeshiva, the, big, the holiest yeshiva, the Ram Kotl's yeshiva. So it's only the merit of my mother. His, his mother, during, in 41, during the war, there was a question of saving Rebaran, Agon Rebaran, Zechariah Rebaran, from the clutches of the Nazis. And there was a question if he's going to be saved through America, saved through uh, Europe, to England. England at that time was being bombed. The, the 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 blitz bombing that was over, we, so they didn't know when it's going to come. So Friday night they heard that Friday night is going to be an opportune time to save him, and so someone had to be ready to save him the second it comes. So Mrs. Ethel Solomon, Zechariah Lebracha, for 24 hours she was sitting by the phone. She was sitting by the phone, waiting. Maybe the phone calls can come right now. We could go save him right away. She didn't go to sleep. She was up for 24 hours to maybe, maybe the phone calls come in. So Agorim Adesio Shlita said, the schus of my mother, I'm here in, in Ram Kotla's yeshiva. I am Zarekha to be in his yeshiva because of what my mother did. What a child does. But once someone came to the Chazanish and you see these people coming from uh, homes that are anti Torah, anti everything, and, and we come from what married, he says, Miss Rabbi, there's a Baba who's well, the Adlokas Neiras, Davin, Davin, Bonim, Abne Bonim, Oiskim, but Torah, those tears, and a mother Davin's, you never know, no, no tears get lost, no tears get lost. But Shaz Adlokas Neiras, when he said, and Davin to the Bonish and the same thing when he said, because of Torah. So it's Ainu, so it's Ainu. There's one woman in, in, in Lakewood that mentions every one of her grandchildren by davening. She said, Ms. Rabbi is going, Ababa was at Gedavad at Gevaint. It was Ababa who cried. When we go, especially now, Arab Yom Kippur, the minute of Arab Yom Kippur, that we bench our children. We bench our children right before Yom Kippur starts. We bench our children. We still cry and bench them that they should be zaycha, that they should go into their chatayr, they should do, have, have everything they need to be able to serve Hashem properly. Those tefillas, shari the is known in alu. The gates of tears are never closed. To, to cry, cry by davening, cry to Hashem. Don't be embarrassed to cry. Cry to Hashem. Crying, it says all that we say this in Dhamma, all the gates are closed. When it comes to Nila, I remember and tells the crying that they had during Nila. The crying, the, the whole yeshiva cried, cried before the Nila Sashar. Crying, the, the, the whole place was crying. Cried by Nila. Cried the Charit Mos, though tears are never, Shum, even if it's not pure, if you have tears, Shum, those tears go up to Hashem. Those tears go up to Hashem. So the, the, to be able to to daven to Hashem properly. 
And the main thing Rabbi Hashem says, how many people did you help? How many people did you do something for? So to, to daven to Hashem, and you know, I always mention the story about the benching before Yom Kippur, the closing by the Rebbe was a kind of bracha, was in a DP camp, and, and, and he gets a knock on the door, and a girl comes crying to him, Rebbe, Rebbe, before the war, my father and my mother used to bench me. I have nobody to bench me now. So the Rebbe says, don't worry, come in. And the Rebbe, who was a tzaddik, Ailam, took a big handkerchief and put it on her head and benched her. And when she went out, she told all her friends, 87 girls came to the Rebbe to be benched. 87 girls. Here the Rebbe, who was Isaac and Ha'ilch and Yonam, but to help bench another child is greater than everything. You know, sometimes people say, I have no time. What do you mean? Helping another yid is what you, you want to do. So first of all, I say it's Mechuba now, starting today, make every day counted for. Every Wednesday, this should be Mechaper. The whole, oh, this Wednesday would be such a special Wednesday. A day, a whole day I'm occupied. Everything you do, how you take care of your children, I take care of your spouse, I take care of... Anything, anybody do for things, and, and everything is a mitzvah. Everything is a mitzvah. How I daven, how I say brachas, I want to make brachas properly, say out every bracha properly, and help other people. Then comes Shabbos. This year, I mentioned already last week, since Rosh Hashanah was on Shabbos, we didn't blow shoifer, that the biggest merit we have is keeping Shabbos properly. Shabbos was the shoifer. Shabbos is the real shoifer. Shabbos is Toshay, Daka. Shabbos is the real Shoifer. Shabbos is a Shoifer. So, especially Shabbos Shuva, this Shabbos Shuva should be a different woman. You know, there's a famous story that a guardian of Yitzhak Zilvashan Shita said over. They heard this from the person that someone was staying in Radnan overnight, Thursday night. And then the, the, the husband had to go on a trip in the morning. And she was telling Gazan, you think Hind Nachas Shabbos Kum Tzuruk Kum Tzuruk? So he asked her, you know he's from Yid, he's going to come back. You don't understand, he says. And we were young. And we were young. My child was very, very sick. He was very, 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 very sick. All doctors, we went to Vienna, all doctors said that he's not going to live. There's no way he could live. So someone told him, why don't you go to the Chabetz Chaim? Go to the Chabetz Chaim. Go to the Chabetz Chaim. The Chabetz Chaim then already was real frail. And he was in the last years of his life. And she came crying, you know, my son is dying. What could I do? He said, he said what could I do when I was younger? If someone came to me, I would fast for them. But I have no courage to fast now. So she said, please, she was pleading with him, you have to do something, my child should live. He says, we know Shabbos is Makara Bracha. Shabbos brings all the brachas. Shabbos brings all the brachas. If you take upon yourself that 12 o'clock in the day already, your table is going to be set and the leichter is going to be set. If you can take yourself waiting for Shabbos, show how you preach today Shabbos. I guarantee your son is going to live a long life. And also, when it comes time of lighting candles, the 18 minutes before, make sure you light before. Make sure that that you, you, you make sure. So today, this week especially, make sure, you know, have your table set 12 o'clock. Some people have it set already the night before. The bracha of Shabbos, Chavetz Chaim said, so at least this week, make sure that, you know, and make sure when you light candles, you light on, on time. Make sure, and you go to lighting candles, not hop-lop and with a tickle half on your head. Make sure that you dress properly for Shabbos when you go lighting, lighting the candles for Shabbos. Make sure that this Shabbos should be a special Shabbos. Shabbos where you don't talk things that you shouldn't talk about on Shabbos. You don't read things you shouldn't read on Shabbos. And everything you do, and it's a big, and a lot of times maybe you should, you know, Chazor over Hilchos Shabbos. Shabbos, like the Chavz Chaim writes in Dagdama, that there's so many intricate halachas and Shabbos. If you don't learn it, 
Yechasashon could be over all kinds of things on Shabbos. You know, so a person, this Shabbos, please, this 12 o'clock, have your table set. Everything's ready for Shabbos. Everything's ready for Shabbos. Make sure that two minutes before the 18 minutes, you're already there, dressed properly for Shabbos, and make the bracha properly and daven for to Rabbi Nishloilam, daven to Rabbi Nishloilam that time for yourself, for your children, for your spouse, for everybody. But make sure this Shabbos is a holy Shabbos, a real Shabbos, and it's mechaper on all the Shabbos of the year. It's mechaper on everything uh, all year. So uh, and and the the, the, the schus of Shabbos is no greater merit than the schus of Shabbos, especially this year where Shabbos was the Rosh Hashanah, there was the Tzitz Shoifer. To make sure, you know, that everything you do on Shabbos, you know, some people in the afternoon, Shabbos afternoon, they're not dressed Shabbos anymore. The look is still much of Shabbos, you have to be dressed Shabbos. Day. And also, I mentioned this many times, women have to know, if you don't have a you're not allowed to do anything without saying Baruch HaMavdal before you, before you prepare the candles for Avdola. You know, people, talk, you know, before you be the, the, the candles are Muktza. And as long as you didn't say Avdola, if someone davens, you say Yatkan Antono. But if not, you have to go and, and make sure you say Baruch HaMavdal before, before you touch anything, you do anything. And the Shabbos, be careful in all the intricate halachas of Shabbos, Chita and, and Bayer, and, and, and putting back things in the oven, taking, we make sure that this year, we, this Shabbos should be a special Shabbos, a Shabbos where you're machma more than all years. You machma and the whole Shabbos should be a Shabbos table, should be a Shabbos table. You don't talk about uh, things that aren't holy on Shabbos, at the Shabbos table, especially, you know, we know that the Chavetz Chaim heritage make this big thing about not speaking Lashon Hara on the Shabbos table. You know, be very, be very careful. The Shabbos table should be a holy table, a table that's like a mezbeach. The, the mezbeach. And then comes this year, Yom Kippur, which is going through some halachas, which are very, which we have to be careful with. Now, first, the meaning of kaparis, that, that, you know, we do uh, kaparis, those who do with chicken, do chicken, those who do it with money, do it with money, but everyone should do kaparis for everyone in the family. The Minigan Kali so took a purse for everybody, and, and it's the best thing. Someone didn't go to Tashlach yet, should go to Tashlach. Uh, tomorrow is Shlesh Asamidis. A lot of Hasidim go then to Tashlach. If you didn't go to Tashlach yet, uh, do it tomorrow. All these, every, and be Makhmer on every Minigan Kali so. Serious Mechuva, be more Makhmer. It's only a Minig. It is a Minig, not only a Minig. Minhagim, the Mendel Ribbonov says, Minhagim, uh, which keep Kali so going. People who keep Minhagim is uh, what keep people uh, keep keep keep, uh, keep people going. So and then they have kaparas. Then there's one day of the year there's a mitzvah to eat a whole day. It doesn't mean you have to be a glutton. It doesn't mean it means uh, you know the the middle disc and you see the sucking a candy on a raisin and raisin that he made wine for for Pesach. He used to suck in that all day. Like sometimes a mitzvah to eat, like a matzah here, it's a mitzvah the whole time if you're eating. And the aloha is anyone who eats on Arab Yom Kippur is like he fasts. Why? To show that it's not the fasting that counts, it's the mitzvah. If Hashem said it's a mitzvah to eat, I eat. If Hashem said it's a mitzvah to fast, I fast. That's, you know, the famous story where one of the big rebbes was told by Dr. Balach. Uh, he came in, Dr. Balach came into him and said, I have some news to tell you. And he didn't know how to. To, to, give, uh, to give him the news. The Rebbe, you're not allowed to fast in Yom Kippur, and the Rebbe started dancing crazy. And uh, so Valak thought maybe he went off his rocker because he said, Rebbe, Rebbe, what happened? He says, no, you know why I'm dancing? I'm dancing, I'm going to eat because you told me it's a mitzvah to eat, the Brian Shabbos telling me to eat. So I don't fast because I think fasting is good. I fast because the Brian Shabbos, the Brian Shabbos tells me to eat, I eat. A yid does what the Brian Shabbos tells him to do. I know there was one fry year that told me in the concentration camp, all these religious Jews were eating and he didn't eat because it was Yom Kippur. I said, because these people don't fast because fasting will help them. They fast because Hashem tells them, Hashem tells them to eat. They eat. You do every, we have to do what Rabbi Hashem tells us to do. So every Yom Kippur is a mitzvah to eat and, and there's an Indian of going to the mikveh. You know, uh, men and many women also is brought down in, 
many women, my mother and my wife, and I go to the mikvah also on Lifnei Hashem Tetoru. You know, the, 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 the Rosh even speaks if you should make a bracha. We don't make a bracha because it's a mitzvah to be matar ourselves, to cleanse ourselves, cleanse ourselves before. So the, we eat, we eat the first suda, after the suda, we dab mincha. And every woman should dab mincha and say al chait and say al chait before. This is the, 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 what you say that uh, um, uh, the, the, we dab them and then we eat a suda some apsekas. The suda some apsekas should be light things, shouldn't be heavy things. We don't eat fish in the suda. In the morning, we eat fish. So we, had, we make a suda in the morning. In the morning, we eat fish and meat. But in the afternoon, we eat a suda some apsekas. You know, the fast starts six fifty four. And you eat this, this suda some apsekas before. And uh, you have the moist mechola and our minigas from what I have. Minigas that you take, uh, you take nine sips. And it's a segula, not to be thirsty, and to be able to fast properly, not to get dehydrated. And the main thing is, make sure that when we daven, we daven with kavana, and we remember if we did something, and the, the yaivitz continues. That so you're not to talk in shul, and especially not during davening, and we have gyoids men shekoshel me adam mem. And some people said the second you do a very once, it's, it becomes a heter. He doesn't even realize it's an avera. And that the Navi screams in any you're going to be judged because you said you didn't sin. The speech of Tzorach, Hashkocha Proteus, the Zir is Godel. You have to be very careful. The Heserel Machshoilus, these Machshoilus that a person have, Sheb Emes Chamuras Vigdoilus. Hurting people, saying lies, lashnara, stealing. If you did something many, many times already, it becomes like a strong rope. Like Gemara says, it starts off like a little string and then it becomes strong. And you should go look after them and take away that as a verse. Like Chavz Chaim every night used to make a cheshman nefesh, and, and anything that you nixed for a long time, write it down in a paper in a pinkus, and make yourself einish. Say that if I'm going to do this avera, I'm I'm going to have to. I'll get einish. And cleanse your your book from the rabbi nishleilim. Remember the three things that Misha says, and don't come a very The main thing is not getting malchus. The main thing is feeling bad. So, and, and saying, be careful not to swear, not to make vows, because the various of vows is a, a very, very big avera. That's why we started the whole davening of the Kippur of Kol Nidre. Hashem, if you made a, a false vow or you didn't keep your vow, those averas are, are there standing and stopping your tefillahs from going up to Shemayim. So if anyone made a, a, a shvua that they didn't keep and a vow didn't keep, be matineder, you know, you could take three, even your family, be matineder, make sure, make sure never, never to say false vows. It says because of saying false vows, person becomes poor. Was saying many many punishments come from from the dorm. Be very careful. Be very careful with what you say. And then, you know, uh, we light uh, two candles: one for the living and one for the parents who passed away. You you you, you light a candle before you have a mind for the living means the whole family. They should all live with the light of Torah. That's why you're lighting the candle. And then Hashem, and then we say Yisker on Yom Kippur. Because Hashem judges all the neshamas in Yom Kippur. It's a day of judgment of all the neshamas. And the biggest thing you could help do the neshamas is do tzedakah. That's why we say, when we say, when we, we when you say Yisker, you say Bavur, the main thing is not mentioning the name, the mentioning the name and giving something to the name, giving tzedakah. Bavur, and you say, because I'm going to give tzedakah, and the schus of tzedakah, and that's why we do all these, every time we do Yisker in a time when we speak in the parasha, a, 
because it's the, the tzedakah is the, what helps it in the Shama is the most. It's the tzedakah the children do. That's what we give kiddush. It's also tzedakah, you help people. Anything you do to help other people helps in the Shama and Shemaim, helps in the, in the, in the Shama and Shemaim. And then, you know, when you light candles, Erev Yom Kippur, it's hard for a person to walk to shul. So you, you, you usually a woman is with Shabbos when, when she lights the candles and you're not allowed to not be Mikabal Shabbos, but except if it's a, a person is in a, in a play, a time where you can't, if you light the candles and be Mikabal Shabbos, you won't be able to get to shul on time. And it's hard, you're only hard for you to walk to shul. So you can make it tonight that I'll be Mikabal Shabbos when I come to shul. So you have to remember when you come to shul, Yom Kav Shabbos, and we make Shachyonu when we light the candles, and and Shachyonu, and in Shul, when the men say Shachyonu, you know, you shouldn't say Shachyonu because you said Shachyonu already. You don't make sh- say Shachyonu. And all, everyone knows all the five things, uh, the, the Anuim that we have on Yom Kippur. And, and uh, one of the person has to be careful not to wash your hand more than knuckles, and you shouldn't wash your face properly. And a person has to be careful not to put any ointments on and not to ointment yourself with any creams or anything uh, on Yom Kippur. And uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, when we say the Tvila Zaka right before Yom Kippur, everyone should try to say the last part of Tvila Zaka. It says that I, I meichel anyone who did anything against me and I want them to be meichel you. Because chas v'sholem, the person is not Michael other people, and he's not Michael as Tvilas won't go up to Shemaim. The, 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 the Gemara brings down the great thing, Rav Akiva is the one who made the the, the of Avinu Malkainu. And the Gemara says the story, there, there was a, 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 a big, a, 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 there was a hunger, a drought, and they daven or Velez, daven, daven, nothing happened. Then Rav Akiva went and said Avinu Malkainu, and he said the five Avinu Malkainu, and all of a sudden a cloud came. And started raining. So everyone started saying, Wow, look, Rebekah is greater than his, his Rebbe. Moses says, No, no, no. <laughs> Rebekah was greater. The only thing he could choose, Rebekah was Mabra Medoiso. He was someone who didn't go stand on principle. If someone did something wrong to him, he was Michael right away. Rebekah, who was the God of Ador, you know, sometimes had to stand on principle because of the covet of, of the Torah. Rebekah was, it says, Kola Mabra Medoiso. Is a vinla to someone who don't harbor any hate against anybody. Don't feel that you have a right to to harbor hate. There's no right to right to harbor anything happens to it, like Governor Melk says, because Rabbi Shem said it should happen. If something happens, don't be angry at the person. The person is only a shliach. And the, the, the Gemara says the highest madrig is and the love and vein and all of them. Who get embarrassed and don't embarrass back. Everyone knows if Chaim used to say, if you want a bracha, go to a person who was embarrassed and you'll get the biggest bracha from him. So a person, when it comes to Yom Kippur, you shouldn't have anyone against in your heart against them. Nobody. Forgive everybody. Forgive everybody and ask that they should forgive you. Because really, when we die, all the hatreds you had, everything goes away. There's nothing there. There's no reason to think about all these things. I mean, everything is gone. So, and, and that's really what life is all about. Life is all not about, you know, getting taking revenge, not about fighting and not wars. Life is keeping what Hashem wants us to do, to serve Hashem. And uh, in Shul, we're going to make, we're going to make uh, Abdullah in Shul. So, you know, for women, because I just told the men, say, Kedesh Shavon, the game home. So we'll make Abdullah and Shul, and when we make Abdullah this year, uh, on Matzim Kippur, Matzim Kippur, you don't light a new match to make Abdullah, because uh, on Matzim Shabbos, you light a new match, because the reason you make one match, because the fire was, that's when it was established. So what we do is we uh, we uh, take from the candle that you had lit, and you add a, a, a fire to it, and that's what we do in Shul also, and, and you, may, you make Barim Arash, and this Bar Maresh is different than all the other Bar Maresh because uh, it's uh, not for a new fire that was made. Also, women have three mitzvahs. The three mitzvahs that Chazal teach us that Hashem, that Hashem, three mitzvahs that Hashem 
looks at when a woman is Bishaskana. There's three things that Hashem looks and, and judges. How were you landing candle lighting? How did you light the candles? When did you light the candles? You light it on time. At Locus Neiris, there's something, you know, the Sadagari represents going Rachel used to sit ready from three o'clock on next to the Leichter to get to prepare herself to light the candles. And like I mentioned, this year I have Shabbos and especially every Kippur, make sure you light on time. And, 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 and then the mitzvah of, of, of Taras Amishpacha, which is so important, which has shown as chorus. People don't realize living with a wife who didn't go to mikveh is, is a, a keeping doing the biggest of error. And to keep the lochas of, the, of all the lochas. And the last thing is taking challah. The mitzvah woman, the Vayinshom wants to see if a woman took challah properly. So in America, it's usually much harder because most people buy it from the bakery. Baruch Hashem, in the last years, many people started uh, making their own challah. So this year, especially at Saras Mechuva, where it says you have to be careful what you eat. And, you know, every woman should try to bake their own challah. And like every, everybody for many years, the Arash comes together, Arab Yom Kippur. And this year, we're going to do it also 9.30, Arab Yom Kippur, where everyone brings their dough, you know, which you have to have almost five pounds uh, of flour, and you make, be able to make a bracha, and, and you're coming to Yom Kippur, I took challah, I took challah. You know, the, the many, many places, you know, people bring over to a challah, you know, that right before she gets married to do this mitzvah, of a fresh challah, which is a special mitzvah. I remember when I was seeing, saw my daughter do it, you know, you mamash feel the shkina there. Those are three times when a woman does these three mitzvahs where the shkina is there. And you can down for anything then. So uh, everyone should try to make challah for this Shabbos to see, you should be able to take challah. If you can't, maybe go to a bakery and see if you could take challah for them. But uh, it's a mitzvah, it's one of the three mitzvahs when it comes to Yom Kippur, Hashem says, let me see how you did these three mitzvahs. Let me see how, what you decree. And remember, what we do now, says Mechuva, can make a difference in our whole life. It can make a difference in the, the next year and our future and our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Everything we do stays forever, stays forever. So remember, you know, the way we act today, tomorrow, Erev Shabbos, Shabbos, Erev Yom Kippur, and when, when we bench our children, Dam Tashem, they should give them a life which is prosperous with Torah and mitzvahs, a life that they could serve Hashem properly without any worries, a life where Hashem should help all of us by doing the right things as Eretz Mei Tshuva. We're going to, it's going to be a different, a different world. It's going to be a different world. And one should help that every one of us should together Daven properly. Remember, cry, cry by by locus nerus, cry by, by by lighting candles. I remember, you know, Shalom Goldstein's going to You know, said to his mother that you know he grew up in a time in America when many people children turned off the derech. I remember he was standing by his mother lighting candles, and he said, "Mommy, what's mine?" He said, "Why are you crying?" He said, "Shulam kolich daven azizal zan he said that stayed with him his whole life. And the mother stands there and cries and cries and no tears go unanswered. Shahar the most loin and Allah. A special Nila, we should have it properly. I want to help that each one, everyone should be able to clean our slate. And we know the only way you can clean it is by asking Mechila. If you did something against somebody and you don't want to tell them because you're scared it's going to hurt them more, just ask him a but if you know you did something against somebody and the person knows about it, go and say, I feel bad, and do tshuva to the Ravayin Shalom for it, and do tshuva as the person Mechila. And as long as you don't understand, if you have money that has shown you have a suffolk, if you're allowed to have or not, give it back. And the Ravayin Shalom, that the schus, every one of us, making this a serious tshuva, real 10 days of repentance, 10 days that will change your life, the lives of your kahila, the lives of your children, lives of your family, and of course this, you should be so you could have children and grandchildren and great grandchildren who go into Derek Hashem, who always have a prosperous, good life, and all of us to be so to see it should be a Shnaz Gul of Yeshua, a year of redemption, a year where all the Tsaras and Kali Yisrael end, 
and everyone should be answered what they need. Anyone need, I mean, to see the will of Mayor Menu. Have a good Shabbos and a good Yom Kippur and a good Geben Shior. Amen. Thank you so much, Rabbi Lowy. The broadcast is sponsored as a sechus for Rafua Shalema. I just want to say a capital till now. I was here to say a for Shana Brocha Bas Yael. You know, uh, she's Mrs. Ginz's, you know, Rabbi and Mrs. Ginz's daughter. And she asked we should say capital till so let's say the capital Kuflamid, which everyone knows. Which we all say now during Serious Mechuva. Here am Alois, in Mama Kim, Persifa Adoinoi, Adoinoi, Shimabe Pali. You <laughs> Nikoi <laughs> I mean, thank you so much again, Rabbi Lowy. The broadcast is sponsored as a schus for Rafu Shalema for Shana Bracha Bas Yael, Ilana Ginz's granddaughter, who had a severe and serious injury after falling 15 feet and is currently unable to walk. If you'd like to sponsor future broadcasts, please contact me. And the class was recorded and will be available at theaguda.ca. Thank you very much. And I'm going to unmute the ladies. Hold on, please. Okay, you can thank the Rav. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Rabbi Lowy, as far as... Thank the Rav so much. Thank you, Rabbi. Rabbi Lowy, thank you, thank you so much. It's so special. And Ketiva Vachasima Tova, Gamar Chasima Tova to everyone. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Rabbi Lowy, it's, it's Phyllis Friedman. Rabbi Lowy, because it's hectic on Sunday, is it okay to go to the cemetery on Friday before Chatzos? Yeah. Or yeah. better, is it better, Arab Yom Kippur? No, you can go Friday for what says. Right. And then also, as far as the mikvah, can we go Matzah Shabbos instead of sure. Sunday morning? No, we go Matzah Shabbos. My mother used to go at night. Yeah, we could go to the Matzah Shabbos of Arab yeah. Yom Kippur. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. A good good venture. A good venture. Good thank, good thank you. Good thank, good you. Good thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just may intercede, uh, may, may intercede here for a moment. It's a Kiva Balter, and I wanted to take this opportunity, firstly, to thank the Rav and wish the Rav and his family well and, uh, in the coming year and many, many years of continuing this year. Uh, thank you very much. And I want right. to thank Mrs. Rechtschefin for uh, every week uh, recording and managing the Zoom room, and it's much appreciated. I wanted to say in front of Bifneam while everybody was here, but I'll take it now. Thank you. Thank you, Akiva. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Akiva. Thank you. 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 Yes. you should be well. It should be a good right. year. You should be strong. You be stark, like you're stark to Hashem. Hashem should make your body stark. You should have all the coils you need, every breath you have. Akiva, you should have every breath, every blood, every cell in your body should be healthy so you could serve Hashem with a hava and koyach like you always do to a hundred and fun All right, thank you. 
Amen. You should have a good bench here. You should have a good bench here. I mean, thank you, Harav. And Sheila, too, you should continue to have call Israel. Your children should be able to continue to make wonderful shaduchim at the right time. Akiva, you should be well. Your wife should be well. Your son should be safe. Healing, call Israel. Everyone listening to this, we should all be well. We should all be awakened by the sound of the shofar. We should all have a good tichuva, and we should all go in to Nila and Yom Kippur, renewing our vows, and just making Hashem our king, and that should be our objective, and we should come out wearing white and be very happy that we had a good davening, and we should all be zoyach to see Mashiach coming very soon and have a good Geben Shior. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hashem bless you. All your feelings, Rabbi Louie. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. What was that? This is Amen. Good Geben Shior. Okay, good Yondiv, everyone. And have an easy Passover. Good Yondiv. Amen. Arkasim Ataiva. The Mars will seem a to everybody. Hey, the Mars will seem everyone. Rabbi Lowy? Yes. Can we say Tfilas Zacha Moitzi Shabbos? You could say, yeah, sure. You could say any time. If you want, you could say about Shabbos also. But that part, the other parts are talking about the fast. But the last part, you could say any time. The last part is just saying, I'm Michael, everybody, they should Michael me. Okay. The other parts are speaking about taking upon yourself the fast. So now you can't. But the last part of Tfilosaki, you could say. Thank it's the part that says, I'm a, sure. If you want to make sure you say it, it's better to say it then. Sunday so hectic. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I'm good to give Ben sure. Good to sure. Good to sure. Yeah, good yarn to everyone. Have an easy fast. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Good yontif. Good yontif, everyone. All the best. Amen. Good morning. 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 Good morning.